Yay. Before that, we have our fight between Fumu and SK Dale. Fumu with his trusty fried chicken and SK Dale with his trusty land shark dragon thing. Who needs head pads? Look at that head. Just needs pads. So we're going with Krogug. I'm not sure. I totally agree with this. Just because the way he plays Blaziken, at least for his other people, maybe not necessarily Garchomp, is he's like starving for HP. And Garchomp, I feel like, doesn't wind up with another Dragon Ball to justify destroying all of it. But I could be wrong. I could be very wrong about that Dragon Ball thing. Big mix up, what's gonna be? Ooh, Tick throwing back into field. This field plays stronger, I think. Ooh, this isn't bad. It certainly bumps me inside. And Garchomp's, I think, is okay. This guy Dale got this corner. You don't want to fight either of these guys in the corner, they'll just wreck your face. Alright, Krogon keeping his corner a little bit safe. But see, Fumu does not have the life lead by any means. And I feel like it's just stalling a little bit personally. But anyway. However, SK Dale will take that first round. Uh, now I wonder if Sylveon would actually be really good. I think it depends on if he gives you HP or not. But Sylveon versus Garchomp is always pretty good. Cool. Moving on. It's Brave Bird. Now, now Fumo owns this corner. Fumo's gonna take this corner. His name is Fumo. Waving to Krogon. Funny Krogon. Now it's gonna deal. basically can't get out of the corner. So this is actually a pretty cool setup, I think. Yeah, just cornering him. Uh, I I think that 2x was spent a little bit too early, otherwise it would have poked him out of first, I believe. And uh, now, now, now I see the appeal of this program. It's pretty rad. That defense debuff was super crisp. <laughs> And whatever Fum is running, of course, keeps giving him synergy. He can get burst back and just repeat it all over again. But Eskadale will not fall for it. He's gonna get Fumu against now hit in his corner. Pocket sand. Starting out with that trusty, trusty uh, sand tune combo. We'll go and mix up and Fumu gets out of that with a little flippy flip. That is it. Dark Hunt's up. The counter was kind of interesting because I thought it was just a low, but Fumu was in the air, so I'm a little bit confused. But moving on, I feel like this is totally an innovative game because Escadale is sitting on full burst and he can bring this back any second. Fumu is slowly getting his HP back for the short duration that his purse is still alive. I'm not sure what Krogrix is going to do here. This is an okay time for Fumu to stall. The Escadale pretty much timing them pretty well and not get hit by Krogrix, but also the now, now he's gonna take us all back with his burst. All crits everything. And he does actually combo into his burst. And this should kill. A little bit questionable to his skill, but yeah, it does a lot more damage. Let's get Dale taken game one. Alright, that was special cheer earlier. Now we're at support cheer with Decidueye. Uh, no, but people say Decidueye is kind of a steamroller right now. I'm not sure how Garchomp particularly does versus him. I feel like Dig might be an underexplored tool in this matchup because of how much it is in the air, but I'm just- I really can't tell you an educated opinion of who it is. Alright, crazy bird grab. Reaches out to Garchomp and gets him. It does not look like Garchomp has the easiest time approaching without committing some crazy. But, he still noodles his way around with CADC in there. Starts off a card chomp combo and I think hesitates a little bit. Okay, Sylveon coming in. You can yeah, you can you can find a friendly plan, but we don't see a lot of the situation maybe Deskadale isn't expecting. Didn't have like a game plan. 
that is crab is something. It does not appear to do a ton of damage though, it's not it's not over yet. Right? Standard guard chomp field Oki. There we go. Fake Decidui uh, just pocket sand in his face. Fortunately he gets anti-air trying to do a dive bomb. Try Decidui. Decidui shooting some spirit shackles, keeping some space, lots of respect going on, but Fubu dives in through the air and gets him. Boo in super good shape. It's gonna be. Or Garchomp's gonna have to rush or time this out. I mean. Let's see, what's his gameplay gonna be? Time up. On the bright side, Fumu. Bright side, Bryce Cadale, I should say. Fumu doesn't get his cheer, but. Sitting strong. Alright, as. Spirit Shackle taking that first phase change. At least Y coming in. Alright, Dig? Dig went out okay. I don't know if Fumu just didn't see coming or if that was true fun. But that went okay. Crazy counter happening. Sidu I taking that dual or dual phase. I feel like I thought Dive Bomb was punishable, maybe not by Garchop in the field. Um it's on Dig to explore. Owl burst is uh, terrifying, especially with that huge grab. Escadale not showing a ton of fear. Yes, he's actually going to wreck Decidueye. Oh, well, think of the damage that would have done if he didn't have the defense buff. Fuma narrowly escapes that counter break. And brings Garchomp back in dual phase. Garchomp, okay. Escadale knows he only needs a little bit more burst in order to get burst. Oh, yeah, first, but Alright, but uh, Fuma's gonna take this game. Yeah. Alright, no changes for this last round. Edgy Owl coming in to fight once more. An interesting exchange. So Spirit Jackal wins uh, whatever that was. It's like neutral light. I think there's almost something Spirit Jackal. Yeah. Perfect. So do you like combos? What are we going to see here? Okay. Just got thinking that Sidio was going to hang out in the air, shoots for an 8Y, but that does not really get into a good spot. In fact, Kumu is taking a very commanding lead in this round. Skyrockets over Stone Edge. I'm not sure if fully intentionally or just saw it turn around and was like, nope, I'm not dealing with that Stone Edge. This is an amazing start. Uh, that's not dead, is it? No, it's not dead. Oh, uh, there, there's no way. Did you first last too long? That was an owl perfect. What what can guard jump do here? I mean, he has snipey. I think that's a really good support here, but it's not doing a whole lot for Escadel. I don't think it, it might just be because I don't know if he doesn't have the opportunity to push it or it's just an opportunity to push it. Release X though, that's pretty nice, particularly when. Whoa, that is a beautiful stone edge. There we go. If he doesn't bring us back, but autocorrect is not kind to him at all. I see, I feel like that would have been like a good snipe opportunity when he's coming down. Assuming he, unless you mistake it for the grab, you can't tell the difference between the grab and the regular dive bomb. Then you probably shouldn't use it. But anyway. Alright, Escadel in super good shape right now. I feel like he yeah, if he can um, end this on this combo right here. Or this combo right here. Then <laughs> he's good because he's sitting on full burst. And now we are at match point for both of them on this round. Once again, Spirit Tackle taking that field phase. First, oh, Will Garchomp answer with his own burst and really just sit around and play it safe. He's playing it a little bit intimidatingly, but also safe. He gets a little bit uh, too close. Did you I? 
But he's definitely waiting for Pooba's burst to run out before he rushes into this on the screen. So Decidueye's burst is gone as are half of his threats, and now Garchomp is the big threat. That is a very tall tornado. I was not aware of this. Okay, interesting sucker punch. Tries to fake him out of something, but instead gets caught in a sand combo. Uh, I don't know how long this defense up to gonna last, but it's going. Alright, see. SK Dale. I don't know how much damage this is gonna do, but SK Dale's burst is about to run out anyway, so it's pretty good timing. That's alright. Pretty good. Still gives him momentum. Frenzy Plant coming out. Alright. Unfortunately, Garchomp's counter has vulnerable frames. And thus he gets it. Alright. I'm not sure what's going on there. Of course, uh... Yeah, I think it's the... I neglected to actually look at the support debuff. And uh, that's probably why Snivy isn't doing a squat in this matchup. How did Fuma get burst again? I don't know, but he rocks with it. And he takes the game and the set. So good job to both of them. I like what Fuma brings out Owl.